Hello everybody, welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a toilet seat lid. Now, I need to install a new toilet seat lid because my toddler decided to stand on our toilet seat and he pushed the lid over so far that it snapped it right off. Replacing a toilet seat lid is very easy though, luckily, so anybody can do it. All you need is a screwdriver and um, personally some Clorox wipes because I need to clean out <laughs> some of that toilet area in there. Let's get going. Okay, so here we have our old broken toilet seat. I'm gonna leave that there so you can see these. Let me show you the hardware it comes with. It just comes with some screws and it's got this handy lent, dandy hand nut here that goes underneath and this will go up top real easy. So let's take out the other screws which are located here and here. All you gotta do is you gotta pop these up right here, just like that, that and like that. And then that exposes the screws in here. And I'll take this off. There we go. It looks like in there we've got flathead screws. So I also need a flathead screwdriver to put in there and to untwist. And I'm actually gonna untwist the nut from the bottom mostly, but you wanna hold the top piece in place so it doesn't get twisted. If the nut in the bottom is torqued on so the toilet seat doesn't move, which is okay. What you'll need then is a wrench just to un, just to get loose. And then after that, like I'm just using it, I'm unscrewing it with my finger. And so it's got a little, this one happens to have little place flat spots and you just put the wrench on there and gently twist it. This doesn't necessarily have that, but if you can't get that open with your fingers, you can still, if your toilet seat has this kind of thing on it, you can still undo it by grabbing it with this and this will help give you some leverage to unscrew it if that's needed. Now let's do the other side. Okay, <clears throat> now that we've got those two done, let's take that up and there's the old toilet seat lid. Well, that's gonna end up being tossed in the trash. This is actually our uh, third toilet seat in this bathroom. This is the children's bathroom. Our master bathroom has never had to be replaced, if anything. So you see all the gunk that gets built up there? That's gross. That's why I have handy dandy Clorox wipes, disinfectant wipes. And just clean that right off because I don't really prefer my hands being in that. And there it is. In case you don't know, these wipes are not flushable. Don't flush them, put them in the trash. So yeah, nice and clean. Actually, I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna go inside the hole and underneath it, now that I'm thinking about it, because you never know what can leak down through there. <laughs> you like that. There we go. Okay. Now that's all clean, let's get our new toilet seat lid. That's what it looks like. And there you go. Let's pop up these. So these ones are a little bit different than my other ones. They have little grippies on the side here. So oh, they pop forward instead of back. So these ones pop this way. Oh gosh. <laughs> there you go, weird angle. But really not that hard to get open. Just an awkward angle. And then you just line that up there. Now you've got your bolts here. And you want to unscrew them. After you've taken your nut off, then go ahead and take this washer off. And this goes in here. And you're gonna wanna do that with this side too. Okay, you've got your other one. Stick it in the hole and then put your lid on top of it. And now put your bolts 
down through the holes. And then all you do is you put these whoops, <laughs> nuts facing up this way. And you hold this in with your screwdriver. Here, this is a Phillips head needed. So I've got a Phillips head screwdriver. And then just like that. And once you're done, you can just pop that on. And that's it. Well, let me show you what it looks like from behind. Okay, so here's a really awkward from underneath my toilet angle. Never done this one before, but I wanted to show you. Here is your bolt there, and here's your nut that you're gonna attach there. And don't forget your screwdriver on top to hold the bolt still, and you can just twist it underneath, or you can twist it from the top with the screwdriver, whichever way is easiest for you. And this will eventually stop going because it's so tight. So then you have to do it from the top. See, all you do is hold that in place. Real easy like. And that's it. It's all tightened on there. And now let's go back up to the top. There it is. After your toilet seat is all screwed in and placed where you want it, then if you need to like shift it because it's shifted, then just unscrew the screws a little bit, move the toilet seat back and forth wherever you need it, and then tighten it back in. And then you just pop that down, and that's it. You now have a new functioning toilet seat lid and seat. There you go, changing out the toilet seat lid on any toilet. Pretty easy, all you need is basic tools, new toilet seat lid, and then you're on your way. I hope this video is helpful to any of you who need it out there. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like down below and I would love a subscribe also. And hopefully we will see you next time. Bye.